Oh, Terratrix Wargaming here, and today is a short video of how to paint skulls. Yep, those spooky things that are full of Warhammer 40,000. In the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, there are only skulls. I know that isn't the lines, but you see so many skulls on the um, Space Marines. <laughs> Look at this guy here, this damned legionnaire. I've, this is the most skulls I've counted on one. So you can see you got Scully Boy, Scully Boy, Scully Boy, Scully Boy, and I think there's another skull. Ah, there he is. Another skull. So, we're going to move over to the skull that we're going to be painting today. So, as always, I got this from a box set in Warhammer, which came with some texture paint and blood for the blood god. So to my corn brethren, got that paint there. Um, I've painted up these skulls, you can see... I would say you can see what I'm doing, but I'll quickly get rid of the squeaky chair. Squeaky squeaky! You can see. I've implemented the skulls in a various different format. Like this guy here, which... Could you see him? Yeah, you can see it's a teeny bit of a skull. But you can see skulls are implemented into a lot of my builds, because it's a grim. Wars are not fun. So before I blurb on for too long, let's get over to painting this skull. So we're going to go and use some Zandri dust. Now remember to give it a good shake beforehand. Zandri dust is one of my favourite paints. Now... This paint scheme is a teeny bit like the one I did for the last video, actually. How to paint Cree. Um, not Cree, how to paint Wargaming Khaki. Like, now, you won't be seeing what I'm doing here, but I'm right now just paint, mixing in with a wet blend, with a wet amount, not wet blending, but just a wet amount of that. So we're going to go over. Let me just go over the whole grey. Now, what I'll do after this, off camera probably, is varnish it. Now, if any of you have got sisters, or wives, or use feminine products, a good thing to do is steal their nail varnish. Well, not steal it, but I've always asked for permission beforehand. But you can always use that to create a hardened coat. Now, what a hardened coat is, is like a primer, the priming of a model. It will lock that model in place, so if I scratch it or something, it will be hard to have that wear and tear, which is ground. <laughs> so always ask for permission beforehand, but it's a good thing to use. So this takes about two to three coats. We'll get to there. We'll get to when we're at the next step. See you all, right? So now that we created that really nice Zandri dust overlay onto it. Now over here, because my lighting is not the best, you can see it's quite a darkish grim tan, which is what we're going for. It's because it's we want to create a weathered looking skull, it's gone for the ages, without actually pinning any dust onto it. Now, the skull will change in a couple of minutes off to a new type. But if you want to keep a skull just like this, go over it with Screaming Skull. Now you'll find out in a second what Screaming Skull will do, but we're doing our wash. So the wash we're using is Seprin Sapia. Sap the name must be butchered if it's on here. <laughs> and as usual, you get a big dollop. But I would say batch painting this in a group is the best thing. So you put your dollop there and you just go over the model. Now, I left this model for about 10 minutes to dry. But you need to take into consideration it's boiling for me. So if you're in a cold country, leave it for about 15 minutes, it's not like that. Or if you're just doing it in winter. So you want to not have that pooling, but you want to create that old look. And you can see I actually took too little, so I'm going to go over, get a teeny bit more of that nice little puddle. So another good thing about what's happening to this channel soon is I am getting a friend actually has asked me to paint his blood angels so I'll be doing some blood angels tutorials soon. 
That'll probably come in with tech marine ones. So, fun, fun, fun stuff coming up. So there we are. The skull is all washed. Now we'll get that so it zooms on. I'll take it for a little twirl. Do 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 do. Music brought to you by Telchix Wargaming. So I might add an actually some nice Skyrim music to back of this. Dover King, Dover King, Dover King. <laughs> See, this is why I never did music. I tried to join the choir once and went there for a week and then said no, I don't like this. But we're gonna move I'll probably skip you over to the next step when we're ready. So that's the time's gonna wash and dry over. So when that's dried. I'll move over to the next step, which is... Doo -doo 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 screaming Skull. See you all then, in a minute. Bow. So we're back, that was actually, I left it for about 15 minutes. And that wash has dried, if you can see up my finger on it. And it only wiggles around. So now we're on our next part. Which is... Guess what, guess what, guess what? Screaming Skull. Now, Screaming Skull is one of my favourite colours for Xandra Dust. Actually, more than Avalanche Sunset. Just as the ivory texture of it is amazing. Now, how you use this is you just edge highlight model. And now, my way of edge highlighting is I like to edge highlight away from myself. But everyone else is different with how they edge highlight. So you start with the edge highlighting, so like the jaw, and move over to the top of the head. And just paint up it like that. Oh, oh, and it's not in focus. <laughs> and just paint it off. So you can see right now it looks like a weird person. But oh, if you just go over most of his body. Now, you can see there's big recesses where his jaw is, so we're not going to do it there. So we'll just keep on doing this. And we keep parts like that. And you make it a lighter to go out, so you do a deeper colour at the top. You just do stuff like that. So, let's skip over to when it's done. And now that's done. Now you can see, that is quite a nice skull, I would say. That overall will take you, without the drying time, and it hasn't focused. Okay. So, you can see, it actually looks really nice for what it is. And the amount of time you probably spend on it is about five minutes at the most. So, I would usually say batch paint a large amount of these at a sequence. And that, just nice to put onto your bases. Now I'm pinning this onto a tech marine, or the tank, just because he died in the tank and blah blah blah. That'll be up soon, that video, but still I will not say what it's about. Mwahwahwa! And keep on getting blurred. But that's just a quick tutorial of how to of how to paint a skull. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to me, or um, going onto my Discord, and following me on Instagram. I as well have two really good friends who as well to YouTube. They're both for Weatherpick and Spect. Um, I've got some more videos coming out in late later on this week. As I said earlier on in the video, Blood Angel ones will come out soon. Ooh. I as well maybe get trying to get people's opinions on Blood Angels. So please comment in um I forgot what that is. To comment in the commenting box below. Um is that all I wanted to say? As well, I did get contacted by the guy for the giveaway, and I've, I'm now sending it off tomorrow or the next day. Bye bye all. This is Terra Chicks Wargaming out. Have a grand day. Bye bye.